Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is April 24th. Um, I'm happy to be here before you. It's a little early in the morning uh, for some of us, but uh, I pray that uh, when we awake, we will wake uh, joyfully uh, as God's true sons and daughters, that uh, we always look for a way to uh, make God smile and to do the best we can and fulfill our purpose um, on this world. Anyway, today's uh, date, <clears throat> excuse me, today's reading comes to us from 2 Samuel um, chapter 8, verses 1 to 18. Okay, victory is the Lord's. In the course of time, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. He took Metheg Amma from the control of the Philistines. David also defeated the Moabites. He made them lie down on the ground and measured them off with a length of cord. Every two lengths of them were put to death and the third lank was allowed to live. So the Moabites became subject to David and brought him tribute. Moreover, David defeated Hadazazir, son of Rehob, king of Zobah, and he went to restore his monument at the Euphrates River. David captured a thousand of his chariots, 7,000 charioteers, and 20,000 foot soldiers. He hamstrung all but a hundred of the chariot horses. When the Arameans of Damascus came to help Hadaz. <clears throat> Hadazir, king of Zohab, David struck down 22,000 of them. He put garrisons in the Aramean kingdom of Damascus, and the Arameans became subject to him and, bought, and brought tribute. The Lord gave David victory whenever he went. David took the gold shields that belonged to the officers of Hadazir and brought them to Jerusalem. From Teba and Barathai, towns that belonged to Hadazir, King David took a great quantity of bronze. Then two king of Hamath heard that David had defeated the entire Ivory army of Hadazir. He sent his son Jeram to King David to greet him and to congratulate him on his victory in battle over Hadazir, who had been at war with two. Jerome brought with him articles of silver, gold, and bronze. King David dedicated these articles to the Lord, as he had done with the silver and gold from all the nations he had subdued. Edom and Moab, the Ammonites from the Philistines, and Amalek, he also dedicated plunder taken from Hadazir, son of Rehob, king of Zobah. And David became famous after he returned from striking down 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He put garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became subject to David. The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David reigned over all Israel, doing what was just and right for all his people, Joab, son of Zeruah, was over the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahadad, was recorder. Zadok, son of Ahitab, and Hamalek, son of Abiathar, were priests. Sarai was secretary. Benai, son of Jehadi, was, the, was over the Kerethites, and Pelethites and David's sons were priests. Amen. Well, there's a lot going on there. Um... One thing to remember, David always trusted in the Lord. David did what the Lord wanted him to do, as prescribed by the Lord, when the Lord wanted him to do, even if it looked like it wasn't the best thing at the time. It always turned out to be the best. So David has complete trust in the Lord. Uh, he rules over his people, all Israel was God's people doing what was just and right for all his people. So he's following God to the letter. He's always trying to do what God would want him to do for his people. Um, so God rewarded him. Uh, I mean, he went, you know, think of David, think of the history of David. He went through a lot of hard times. He... Um, he could have made it easier on himself, uh, but he always did exactly what God wanted him to do. So God is rewarding him greatly. Um, he's conquered all these people. He's killed a lot of the people that God, I guess, wanted him to kill. But And and even even the things that you think he would take, like uh, all the horses, he hamstrung. So he cuts, cuts some of the muscle on the horses so they can't run. <clears throat> all but a hundred, which seems kind of like a waste, but that's what God wanted him to do, so that's what he did. So he's following God, really following God to the letter. And he, and because of that, he's getting uh, rewarded from it. So that, like the Mohabites, 
became subject to David uh, after he killed two thirds of him, and they brought him tribute. Tribute was like, uh, I guess, like paying tax. Uh, and there's other people that uh, he had conquered, and they were bringing him tribute. They're bringing him gold, bronze, silver, all these things to um, build up God's kingdom in Israel. So um, this is just a great example of listening and trusting in God and um, giving God all the glory, giving, make, making sure everybody knows that all this is because of God. And uh, God is rewarding um, is rewarding them at this at this point, and um, they they've really uh, come a long way. Anyway, um, I want to pray that you know in our lives that uh, no matter if the choices seem uh, beneficial to us or not beneficial to us, that we always do what is just and right, uh, just like David has done. And that uh, all that happens, we give that glory to God. You know, there's God, God makes lots of good things happen in our lives. And God deserves all the glory um, because he's in control of us. And we have to relinquish control of ourselves onto him. I want to pray that we pray for each other and that we all know somebody that's sick or, or somebody that uh, has a sick relative or somebody that's in need, that, um, that we be honest with ourselves and that we be able to help them best we can, uh, truthfully, in our own hearts. And I pray all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, everybody.